Hello and welcome to Lilybrook. I've had my first golf lesson and I'm taking it to the course with just my irons. See I'm a strong believer in taking your seven iron swing to your driver and not your driver swing to your seven iron. So I quite often do this when I've had a lesson and I'm going to try and play then I play with just my irons. Happy with that one. And I'm even happier with that one. So going on from the lessons I had last year with James, and of course lockdowns have made me forget all of that. And now with Ollie, because James has moved on. And he suggested some tweaks. Now I can see in this video, I'm not exactly there yet, but it's getting there. And the biggest thing I've noticed is that when I get it right, I've got a better takeaway. That means I got a better backswing. So I've got a better downswing. So I've got a little bit more speed. And I'm using the middle of the bat instead of all those knifey ones. Having said that, there's always room for uh, catching one off the bottom groove. And of course, there's one or two bad shots as well. This was a perfect flare out to the right. Fortunately, the trees kicked it back in play. Well, at least I'm getting some luck somewhere. Now, this is a shot I've really struggled with. I'm trying to keep everything tied together. But I've tugged that. Fortunately, it stayed up. And the other good thing about doing videos is I'm spotting what's going wrong with my putting. Apart from the fact that I hammered this one. But I can quite easily see what's going wrong here. And why I did that. Still early days. Perfect draw to the left side of the green. And that's run down. Level with the flag. Right, some distance away. But it was the perfect shot. I might have to try that again. This is a perfect example of how things are improving. Hands are they're still far away from the body, but they're closer than they were. And I've hit this so much better, I was expecting a big slice. So even though it's ended up badly, I'm really pleased with the shot. Just a shame I'm not pleased with my short game and my putting at the moment. You know, that's only temporary, that's going to get better too. Not far off where I want to be really.
As you can see here, there's still just a little bit too much daylight between my hands and my thighs. I'm still reaching for a bit. Posture looks a bit better, but I never flare out to the right and I never kick in back towards the fairway. But the pitch is better than the previous one. So, you know, work in progress. What's funny is you can almost see the cogs ticking over in the old brain box here where I'm trying to work out what to do on each shot. There's just too many thoughts going on. Now I couldn't reach the flag here from this lie, so I've chosen a six iron, thinking that I'm gonna leave myself a chip to the green. But that was one of the really better ones. That really flew, I was quite impressed with that. I made it on the green by an inch. I, I really would prefer to chip up this slope because it's such a difficult putt to judge. And there we go. Now this is on a ridge. You can put this four or five times. You'll miss to the right and you'll miss to the left. It, it, this hole is almost impossible to get into. So I'm not worried too much about that. My favorite par three on the course of the moment. I don't seem to be able to make a bogey on here, but now I've said that, it's probably gonna bite back. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I think every single setup and every single swing has been slightly different. So I'm hitting it straight and I'm hitting a few draws and I've hit a few fades. I've hit it really well right out the meat and then I've hit some thins as well. Well, that's it for this video. I got to keep practicing and uh, actually get on the range and do this. I was doing it really well in the lesson, but the lesson is the lesson and the golf course is the golf course. Cheerio.